Okay, I want to do a video on uh, the... This is something that we've wanted to say for a long time. Um, sometime since around late 2019, me and my brother have been wanting to do a video explicitly about how we were so done with Comicsgate that we were even done with the supposed anti-Comicsgate, to the extent that anti-Comicsgate even exists. Because um, it doesn't really... Uh, and one of the main things we also wanted to say about that was that anti comic skate is really just comic skate refugees or whatever. Um, and some people tried to say that we're anti comic skate, which we're not. We're, we're shitty web comics. We have been since before comic skate ever existed. We're comic liberty. We're the real thing. We've actually held true to our principles. And we've stayed morally consistent, whereas Comicsgate has constantly contradicted their supposed fake principles. Or their supposed principles, which are fake. But um, it's been a few years since, you know, 2019. And for the life of me, I cannot remember if we actually did a video just saying that we were tired of anti-Comicsgate. Um, from what I can recall, we haven't done a video that was specifically about that but that we had addressed the topic several times in several other videos about several other topics. I just remember wanting to make a video actually titled Even Anti-Comics Gate is Stupid or something to that effect now, that we were just tired even of the whole ant supposed anti-contingent of Comics Gate because they were really just still Comics Gate. And they had nothing to do with jilted us. Jilted little girlfriends of Comicsgate. Yeah, the the, the jilted ex-girlfriends is a perfect way of putting it. Um, <clears throat> the point wouldn't be to say, you know what, the antis are bad. Maybe EVS is actually not a pathological liar like he's openly displayed and we've noticed, which has caused Comicsgate to sacrifice their lifetime reputations, lying for the honor of a movement for butthurt, butthurt comic book nerds. Um, the point would be instead to say that the problem from the start was the fandom and most likely all fandoms. And I know that um, that's a topic we've already covered. We've already done videos about it. And it's not only true, but something that in the ensuing years, we've seen other people start to parrot. We say it, the world later apes it. Um, that's been true about everything we've done and said since the late 1990s. Um, and that's coming even more true too because in the late 1990s we were talking about how anime is incredibly overrated it's extremely pretentious it's not as good as people say it is and it's mostly all flash no substance just a lot of pretty visuals to cover up the lack of a story and people finally to over 20 years later are realizing that way we were always late. right about that way way too fucking late yeah too late for them not for us though um and as usual, uh, none of that is my opinion or speculation. There's something that other people have come to us with amazement at having noticed that we were right all along. People telling us that we completely called something years in advance. And if you don't like me pointing this out, don't take it up with me. You should take it up with all those people. Um, summing things up in a pithy quote or a meme is not our forte. And something a pal, even a delightful pal said recently is that he hates memes it was actually like another podcast that somebody i know was doing and i listened to it the episodes and i thought they were really good and he was talking about how he hates memes he was also saying that he thinks television should be banned which sounds pretty extreme but he was talking about how like um it shouldn't be uh, uh if i was in charge i would be uh, I would have probably a more extreme, but uh, actually specific and direct solution. Well, what he was talking about, and it was really interesting, and this is completely derailing, but I don't care because I want this to be more than one video at least. But um, he was talking about how he had seen like some of the recent Marvel movies and how they are like got him emotional, not because he thought that the stories were so good, but because... Movies these days are so manipulative at playing on your emotions. They understand how to play on your emotions so effectively. And that because of that, there needs to be some kind of control 
over them. That you shouldn't be fucking using superhero movies to make people emotional that effectively when it's not about something that's fucking that realistic. When it's it's that divorced from reality, it shouldn't have like such emotional weight. And it only has emotional weight not because of anything real, but because of how manipulative it is. The music and the acting and the, the cinematography that are fine-tuned and designed to manipulate your emotions effectively and that that should be banned. I'm pretty sure that's what he was talking about. And uh, I, I certainly understand where he's coming from um, because it's true. They, they figured out the formula to manipulate you that much more to the point where people are complaining. It's like the Dune movie doesn't have a lot of humor or jokes or wisecracks in it. And it's like, yeah, that's because you're used to fucking Marvel movies that are, like, scientifically designed to fucking break up any uh, uh, dramatic anything with, like, a fucking the wise formula. Crack. And I have praised them on their formula, but I cannot praise somebody who can't see outside the formula. Yeah, it's a successful formula. You should praise the formula for working, but not for fucking... Like, if, if you are completely suckered in by it, by that you think that... Um, the formula is what makes it good. Instead of it being a good formula, you think the movie's good. Um, or that it's anything more than just entertainment. Uh, then you uh, probably should be in, in below the... You should be buried underneath the gulag. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, what I assume he was talking gulag. about... Uh, this, this, this same guy who was talking about this uh, was saying that uh, he hates memes as... Um, what I assume he means, or at least what I'm taking from it, is that memes are shallow knowledge for shallow people, and a meme can indeed be a lie. Um, whatever you think of Dick Masterson, it's hard to refute his statement that the left's meme of gun control has been successful enough to wholeheartedly subvert the United States Constitution. So whatever people say about, oh, the left can't meme, is now the cringe fucking statement from the grift right. Instead of it, you know, actually being objectively true. It's like the left's memes have been, you know, uh, subverting the United States fucking uh, the principles that the United States are actually based on. So, so far as uh, the left can't meme, not only not true, but ignoring that has been to everyone's detriment. Um, another friend of ours, an artist girl was telling us after that after so many years of drawing web comics for herself and that kind of thing she can barely bring herself to make comics anymore just because of the thought of the fan base of fucking comics um the comic book fan base all of it from sjw's to comics gate to even pretty much everything in between are the equivalent of taking a violent schizophrenic and fostering their every delusion and then throwing them out into the world and insisting that everyone pander to them. Um, and then, you know, feed the schizo some general political talking points to get shallow people to agree with them about really basic shit. Like how masculinity is under attack, something that's been old news since the 1970s. And then just act like you're your hero for parroting these things that you don't even really believe. Like most people who say masculinity is under attack now don't even believe it or care about it. They're just saying it for attention. They want it's their ver it's it's that's actually what clout chasing is. It's when I mean, you pretend to hold an opinion overall, that doesn't so mean anything people. anymore will say that you need to get married, you need to have children. That's one of the th reasons I stopped uh, watching Black Pilled videos. Yeah, Black Pilled, the fucking, what, Devin Stack, he is a cuck. Yeah. He's just straight up a cuck. He's he's a, such an overdramatic whiner. Yeah. But the fact that he's like, you need to stop playing video games and go and get married so you can get divorced and have your children taken away from you because they need to be white children. You, you call like, yourself no, Black Pilled that. and you're saying that. You're a bad person for fucking telling men to do this, to pressure men into falling into that pitfall. It, well, it's, yeah, it's the old meme, in a way, of uh, throw yourself into the meat grinder. You need to man up and marry those sluts. It's something that fucking Devin Stack doesn't understand. People have been decades beyond his shallow, smooth-brained fucking uh, way of thinking 
um, you know, again, four decades already, since the 1990s even. Um, he's completely out of touch with, with objective reality. But he also wants to be treated like a hero for pointing out just shallow, for parroting shallow talking points. That's a lot, a lot of people on YouTube these days who even talk politics. It's the same for the left or the right, which is fucking, that's where the whole horseshoe, horseshoe theory for us, it's more like horseshoe theory. Fucking, I, I still sometimes get irked thinking about when a man would get on his knees and pledge his loyalty to a pair of shoes. I just can't, I just don't. don't. (laughs) He would give by offering diamonds. I just don't. I just don't. But, um, no but yeah, more going, if you're blind, saying like, today how masculinity is under attack, you're just a fucking parroter who doesn't believe in anything. And you certainly don't even believe or care about that. You're just trying to pander to people. That's all it's about. It's about pandering and because you want money for it. And if you receive money for it, you are a disingenuous person by nature. Um, uh, but also, uh, you know, um, most people won't actually treat you like a hero, but they'll take enough pity on you to not just call you disingenuous to your face, at least. So there's that's sort of the the, the stopgap. That's the alternative. If people don't openly support you, they're not going to at least just call you a fucking liar, even if you are one, which most people are, which is this is where we ended up today, um, yeah. where yesterday somebody tagged me on Twitter And I say this in the same way that I would compare this unfavorably to being gassed in the Holocaust. But um, more specifically, I was tagged in some brain-dead spat between Preston Poulter and I don't even know who else for reasons that had nothing to do with me. And as a result, I saw swarms of Preston Poulter's new Preston Knights, as they're called, having bizarre hallucinations and conniption fits over things that they had imagined happened that never existed. And Preston himself was really thrilled that they were all doing it for his honor, as if he was finally the Caesar of Comicsgate that he always wanted to be, leading his own personal war campaign, while then the original war campaign had now he had now bef- befriended because they don't like Ethan Van Skyver anymore, even though they were on his payroll. And Preston's Knights comparing us to War Campaign. Preston's Knights. Yeah. Um, they Preston's were negatively Knights. comparing us to War Campaign while they themselves were now friends with the original War Campaign. So they were clearly not even understanding their own distinction. Like they were making a self contradiction right there out in the open and they didn't, e- they couldn't even recognize it. I believe the kids call it spurging these days, but Preston it was, Knights. I wonder if that's the name of his fucking the fucking uh, porn movie where he was a cuckold. He was a fucking gay cuck. That's um, the name of the movie. It they should be the movie Preston Knights. One night in Preston. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, it was weird seeing these people just losing their minds and contradict themselves just right out in the open in this. The course, the time span of one tweet, where while, of course, they're tagging 10 different people, unrelated people, in their threads of just constant, incoherent babbling. It was, um, it, it's, again, fucking, like, Preston's devolved into a schizo cow. He was just kind of generally embarrassing. Like, I remember when the whole porn thing came out, I was, I told him, I just straight up said, that's fucking... That's really sad. You shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. You forgot to not do that. But aside from that, I was like, whatever, that's fucking Preston's problem. That's not my problem. If Um, it was long enough ago, it's like, you know, you can you could say you did it for the money or something, whatever. Which well, he said that it was like, oh, you know, he was abused as a kid and uh, this is just part of the the kink. And I was like, okay, I understand that. I have nothing to do with that. And fucking, you know, it's again. P- mm. Like putting it on video, and I'm I didn't know he had been that. trying to sell it and shit. I do want to make sure that I'm clear on this for everyone into the annals of history forever. I'm not into cuckoldry or cuck porn no. or any of that shit. I'm not really into 3D porn, th- meat space three, porn. I always found vaguely things. nauseating. They're ugly. Disgusting. Disgusting. I have found women, female female lady women uh female porn stars to be hot when they're not in porn 
like um uh sasha gray i remember seeing her just in a video of like oh she's going or not a porn video she's just on tv she was like on g4 or something um and she was just around at some convention and it's like oh she looks kind of nice she she's very cute and attractive then i saw her in porn and she's like caked like her face was blue with this fucking makeup and eyeshadow and all this shit and she's like she looks freakish she's not attractive anymore Gross. And it's always fake looking. I Please. mean, the actual acts themselves, yeah, the, compared to say certain animated treasures. Yeah, fucking as yeah, where fucking that is always real. Two D porn, more real, massively. Yeah, it's more real. It's it's sort of like a <coughs> a certain hoax. It was real in my mind, but um, it really the the Nazis stuck twenty four centimeters of wood up Sasha Gray's ass. Why would they do that? I don't know, but I guess it's. Re- I guess it really happened. They put her on a roller coaster that just went right into a brick wall. How come they did that? I didn't know Sasha Gray was dead. I didn't even know she was sick. Fucking put her on the holo coaster. <laughs> <laughs> the holo coaster. Anyway. So anyway, uh, definitely oh, not into that. That's a, a fucking trip. that is a low quality Fuck. shit fetish for losers. Yeah, it's um, it's dumb, but. At the same time, I'm like, okay, if you're into that, fine, whatever. That's your business. That's stupid. But, you know, it, best to fucking keep that stuff as private as possible. The stuff I'm into is not as de- degenerate or, or any of that shit as that. But I'm still like, you know, probably best to keep it private. I understand why some people, like, uh, want it to be part of their personality. Like, yeah, I'm into this porn. And lately, that's been really denigrated, and probably for the right reasons. Um, but that's a whole other topic. Um, I remember just, though, the early days of 4chan. It used to be funny just to fucking be like, oh, I'm about this degenerate porn. And that's why fucking Lolly was such a meme back then, is because people were just fucking... Like, the people who were really into it were definitely creepy. But the people who were just fucking, like, running bear likes to run and that kind of shit were just fucking... Well, yeah, if you Just fucking... Uh, around that, everything. That was the thing is, I was thinking about B, like, uh, and I barely go there, partly because it was mostly gore, scat, and shit. Yeah, you and know what, I, I used to I know avoid B. into this, mm-hmm. but they know that they're trolling, and that's the reason why they're doing it. It was funny, I used to avoid B, because, like, I don't want to see, like, gore and fucking dismemberment oh, yeah. and murdered animals and shit. And then eventually, like, I went on B out of curiosity. And this was, like, 2007 or 2008. Um, it was about the time, actually, that the V for Vendetta movie came out, which is pretty sad because that was a pathetic time for fucking 4chan because I remember seeing the people being like, oh, man, yeah, we are anonymous. And it's like, oh, no, here we go. This is it, this, this is, is retarded. A- You're being retarded, faggots. I'm not sure and, what's um, worse, this or the fucking... Red pill, blue pill shit. Yeah, and, and no amount of truth about how stupid and cringe it was back then stopped any of them from buying into the bullshit. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised because the viral marketing was a big deal back then. Yeah, there would be parts. For a moment, if it was some fucking studio executive trying to Here's push the thing. those movies. If, if, that's, if that's true, it was a very risky move because mm-hmm. they were linking to like a pirated stream of the movie. It was like, hey, l- watch this live fucking we're pirating it it was fucking illegal but uh you know so i wouldn't be surprised if it was just people were because after all it did take off the fucking guy the gay fox mask fucking became a meme for like really, yeah we are anonymous and it's like it's not really ew, uh, that big ew. of a deal anymore actually i mean the red pill stuff that's because uh, people it's realized it's- how fucking embarrassing it was which I remember being in the threads telling people, this is fucking embarrassing. These people are not on your side. They don't support anything that you support. And uh, again, we ended up being proven objectively correct about that. That was a great early example of that. It's actually one of, a great example of that, too. But the thing is, that was on beat. There's no archives of that. So whenever people are like, you, you go around and say this, and it's like, yeah, I fucking, I say that. I've... I remember me saying this because I know what I think. Even if I can't prove it, it's still true. 
And that's always the most important thing. If we can't prove it, it's still true because their evidence of it did exist. So that's all that's important to any. If, if it's not important to you, it's because you don't hold the truth with any premium. You put no premium on the truth and you don't hold it in any regard. You just hold your personal biases in the highest regard. And that uh, that's what makes the rest of you inferior. And when I say the rest of you, I mean most likely people who aren't even listening to this, which is... Uh, because the people listening to this are, are fucking, uh, we don't have fans. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in fans. They never existed. If if only they could be gassed in the chambers. Uh, but uh, our followers or our viewers um, are... Uh, are actually listening to this so i guess i'm fucking again it's it's important to address the people who fucking are least likely to listen to the truth though because well, I mean, then we can just like mock them historical record to me yeah because again yeah that's the thing there are videos we've done years ago that have get, since gone on to be proven true in every and been fucking prophetic and prescient and all that shit and again not our opinion and it's not even just that other people have verified it. It's that it's quantifiable. You can actually measure. It. And that's gotten under people's skin, too, I noticed. That was something in that fucking one goofy-ass thread on Twitter, which maybe we should go back to talking about, I guess, which is very sad, though. But um, I did think it was all funny in a sad way at their expense because with us noticing their contradictions, it only takes five words to defeat them in an argument. But why argue with a schizo or some moron who doesn't, uh, who can't even see that they're contradicting themselves? What do you achieve by winning an argument against someone who is incapable of perceiving objective reality? And uh, the only purpose to that would be smug self-satisfaction. If only people knew that we can thrive on that for eternity. Um, <clears throat> why do people come to us to be raped? I don't know. But you can tell by Preston Poulter's behavior that he's clearly into that sort of thing. He's way into that. And I'm not saying that in hy hyperbole because he's been trying to sell porn videos of himself doing that on the internet starring himself. Um... Anyways, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go into more of this. Here's the thing. I want to post this video in public because um, I just wanted to, uh, yeah, I want to talk about this because we, we talked about this on the Discord. And it's like we could do a video about this just real quick, just throwing it out there. And we have tons of video game footage we can throw over top of this too, which is delightful. Um, and we can do this while uh, in between recording other episodes of uh, Shady Web Comics Weekly. So if you're seeing this on public... Uh, the rest of this video is going to have, you know, more uh, about this uh, behind the subscribe star pay pig paywall. So, uh, you know, if you want to check out, pay us a dollar to see some of our delightful, happy other videos. If you don't, I don't give it. I don't give a care. Let's keep it PG here, you know. Um. But uh, if you uh, if you want to be you know kept in the loop of what everyone else will be agreeing with within uh, a year or five or twenty, but ev and in time everyone will realize we were always right. It's why they say should have listened to shitty web comics. But if you want to fucking if you want to be listening to shitty web comics, uh, go to our our subscribe star, get access to the secret videos, and then uh, and then you'll see. Our new forced catchphrase for the subscribe star backers is good job listening to shitty web comics.